chapter 5. I want to begin reading at of the sea into the country of the Gadarenes and when he was come out of the ship immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwelling among the tombs and no man could bind him no not with chains because that he had been often bound with feathers and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the feathers broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus, that's in the reading of God's holy word. But when he saw Jesus, I want to talk about, oh, oh, here comes Jesus. All right. Oh, oh. Here comes. Jesus. Whenever, whenever Jesus shows up, you can expect change. Not only change in situations, circumstances, and conditions, but change in men, in women, in boys, and in girls. It doesn't matter about the state or the condition of any given situation or circumstances. His presence makes all the difference. I wish I had a co-signer right there. Look at, look at this man. He lived in the cemetery. He was a danger to himself and others as well. Once he meets Jesus, Jesus asks, not the man, but the unclean spirit. What was his name? And he responded by saying, Legion, for we are many. This man had, some writers suggest, 2,000 evil spirits living inside of him and caused him to be a crazy and wild man. All I'm saying as I pass by here, is that if you are dealing with a crazy individual, yeah, right. it might be that they are possessed. Yeah. All right. All right. That, that's all I'm saying. That's, that's, all, that's, all, that, that's all I'm saying. Uh, they might not just be crazy. They might be possessed. Yeah. That still happens today. Listen, you know that they are crazy when not only will they hurt you, but they don't have a problem hurting themselves. Yeah. Right. Oh, they crazy. Right. They, they, when, when, they, they, yeah. when they don't care who they hurt, even if it hurt themselves. Right. See, I don't even want to be around nobody who's talking about, I'm going to tell the truth even if I tell it on myself. I don't need to be around you. Yeah. <laughs> Because something wrong with you. You crazy. You yeah, yeah, yeah. You out of your mind. And, and there are some people that are like that. They just don't care. They don't care about you. They don't care about themselves. They don't care who they hurt. Don't care what they tell. All they about is causing harm to somebody. And so Jesus had Jesus had just calmed the sea. 
calmed a storm on the sea. And he's getting out of the boat, and this man, this man sees him, the Bible says, from afar off, and runs to him and began to worship him. Somebody up in here needs to know that the devil and his angels knows when they see Jesus. Now walk with me, if you will. Walk with me, if you will. In this text, this man is crazy. And nobody wants to be around him because they are scared of him. But he sees Jesus. God Almighty. He sees him and now he's acting like he got some sense. Yeah. You ever seen anybody crazy until certain folk yeah. <laughs> right, come, come around? And, uh, 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 this, this man, is, he sees Jesus and now he's no longer acting crazy. He's acting like he got some sense. Look, 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 look with, with me, if you will, to three things that warrants our attention concerning, uh-oh, here come Jesus. Yeah. Let me make them and then I'll make my exit. Anybody interested? Yeah. Listen, the first thing is trouble recognizes Jesus. All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, the, 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 this troubling man recognized who Jesus is and knows that the presence of Jesus is trouble for him. All yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, he been causing trouble, but, but, but he knows that when Jesus shows up, he going to meet his match. Yeah. Uh, God Almighty, God Almighty, God Almighty. Because prior to Jesus, this man had been running things. Yeah. But now that Jesus shows up, he was running. Matter of fact, they couldn't even bind him. They, they, they couldn't even chain him up. He was such a crazy man, he would just break loose. Uh -oh. and, and I don't know about anybody else, but ain't no shame to my game. I'll be scared yeah. of somebody that can break chains yeah. and, and break if they were handcuffed and they broke loose. But here this man is, he sees Jesus and trouble always recognizes Jesus. No, no one could tame him. No, no one wanted to be around him. His home was with the dead. He often would beat himself with stones day and night. He'd just be howling. That's crazy. But, but he was disturbed and he disturbed all those y'all know somebody crazy yeah. I don't know they might be sitting up in here this morning uh, 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 but listen listen don't let the devil fool you he knows when he's in trouble matter, matter, of fact, matter of fact if he can keep you from praying keep you from attending church keep, keep you from tithing keep Let's, just, let, let's not let's not bring right. him in. Yep. Now, if you ever been talking to somebody, you say, "Well, well, the Lord." Let's not no. yeah. <laughs> let's, let's not bring him in. Let's let's not. Not. The, the devil he knows this, but the moment that Jesus shows up, the devil knows he's in big trouble because trouble recognizes Jesus. All right. And when trouble sees trouble coming, the word is, "Oh." Uh -oh. Here comes Jesus. Listen, the devil won't Jesus. The devil doesn't want Jesus around because when Jesus shows up, chaos, yeah, has to come to all. Yes, sir. Well, oh, I wish I had a co-signer right there. You ever, you ever showed up at a party and the party was going good? Until your holy self showed up. <laughs> Party, well, what you talking about? Our family reunion. Yeah. It was going. They were. They, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, they were drinking. 
smoking, and cussing. But when Jesus showed up, when the saint, y'all don't talk back to me. That, that, that matter of fact, it looked like they were having a good time until you.
they put their bottles down. They put their cigarettes out. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Listen, all I'm saying is that if you are a believer, if you are a, a saint, you ought to cause some disturbance when you show up because you represent Jesus. But if they keep acting the way they're acting, keep talking the way they're talking, and there might not be nothing wrong with them. There might be something wrong with you. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Jesus ain't even said nothing and this man is true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So whenever he shows up, he, he, he trouble recognizes Jesus. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah. Somebody else say, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh yeah, here comes Jesus. Here comes here come Jesus. Because the second thing is that the devil, the devil, the devil is being evicted. Yeah. yeah. When, 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 whenever Jesus shows up, the, the devil knows he's going to be evicted. Yeah. Uh, th this man had power and he, he proved it by breaking his feathers and chain. Yeah. And, and listen, no one could tame him. He was a wild and crazy man and, and this evil spirit had been controlling him for a long time. But at the presence of Jesus, he knew, yeah, yeah, he knew that things were getting ready to change. Yeah. And so he asked, he asked, what do you want with me, Jesus? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody tell me, why, why are you over here? Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, the presence of Jesus was his eviction notice. Yeah. Right. The, the evil spirit that everyone was afraid of, now Jesus allowed him to come to him. No, nobody wanted to get close to him, but Jesus recognized he might have power, but he ain't got all power. Yeah, yeah. And whenever Jesus shows up, the devil knows that he's getting ready to be evicted. Yeah, yeah. This, this evil spirit, whatever, whatever, watch this, whatever have you bound, whatever has you down and out, whatever hurts you, whatever, whatever is trying to destroy you, its power cannot compare to the power of Jesus. Yes. Uh -oh. Oh, and, and on a day like today, Jesus can show up with an eviction notice. Yeah. Uh, the devil been living in you too long. He he been controlling you too long. He been hurting you too long. And Jesus will show up with an eviction notice. He, he will let the devil know he can't live here anymore. Yes. Yes, sir. So he shows up with this this eviction notice, man. Man, this unclean spirit whose name is Legion has to ask Jesus for permission to exit the man. Amen. Now, listen, listen, Jesus, Jesus said, come up out of him. Come, come, you, you can't stay. Uh-uh, you, you've been living there long enough, you, you got to go. And, and he, now the devil, can I tell y'all this right quick? The devil don't have no legs, he ain't got no arm, he ain't got no feet, he ain't got no mouth. Yeah. And the only reason that he can he can have those, he got to move in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody going to get this right. Yeah. So, somebody going to get this right. Because yeah. cause, cause whenever you let it, somebody know something about this. Because when he get in you, he'll make you act like a fool. Come on, talk back to me. Talk, talk. And you know whenever, whenever he gets that anybody in here acknowledge that you've been used by the devil. Oh, yeah, y'all have been talking about I've been used by the Lord. But I wish I had a co-signer, too. Yeah. When, when, Lashonda, when Lashonda runs him off, he'll go to Paul. 
Yeah, yeah. Anybody in here sometimes, you yeah. know, sister lot, you just can't believe that sister Dixon went off on you like that. <laughs>
wrong with a lot of us is that we don't know how to handle the devil. Yeah. Well, he, we don't know how to we don't know how to handle him. But but all you gotta do is just show show Jesus. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. If you want your if you want things to change in your life, you yeah, start reading your Bible. Amen. Start praying more. Yeah. Matter of fact, the only reason he got in because you stopped praying. Yeah. Right. Anybody in here, you, you had it going on and then all of a sudden, all, listen, all you need to do is miss one night of prayer. Yeah. It's easier to miss the second night. Yeah, yeah. It's easier, then before you know it, you don't win a week, you don't win a month. Hello, it's all right to miss one Sunday, but then before you know it, you don't miss two. And, and then you don't remember when the last time you've been to church. <laughs> now, matter of fact, you've been gone so long, it's a month of sun. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and watch how your life changed. Yes, yeah. all right. Yes. Because what has happened is you move the Lord out and let the devil come in. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that devil will talk to you. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. somebody, you know, somebody talked to somebody the other day, me, you know, the men singing. All right. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Some of y'all can't get down with the youth and on fourth Sunday, uh y'all the, the youth sang and tell you, you know. Uh, you was okay to miss this Sunday. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Come on now. Hello. The devil get uh uh um, Reverend John preaching Sunday. Uh huh. Uh, Reverend Jules preaching. Ray ain't preaching. <laughs> and, and, and last Sunday you talking, I don't know what's wrong with Reverend. He didn't have to preach that long. But I let Reverend John and Reverend Jules up, and then you might, like, why he letting them up? <laughs> that was crazy. So whenever 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 Jesus shows up, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He knows he's gonna get an eviction notice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he, 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 and y'all do know what an eviction notice means that they're not asking you to move. Come on, come on. When you get an eviction notice, you get a day. All right. Hello. 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 And they, they don't care nothing about waiting till the first, don't care nothing about waiting on the third, because on that day, even if you ain't got nowhere to move, your stuff. Right. Say that. Right. They put your stuff out on the curb. Right. Right. Yeah, but hell on somebody. They, they, they put your stuff, I don't care how valuable it is to you, they put your cause you've been evicted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so some of us need to there's some things in our lives that the Lord is trying to evict. But now I'm blind. But now I see. Yes, 
here. Yeah. Well, I wish I knew somebody. Yeah. Well, up in here. Yeah. Uh, that will testify. Yeah. Well, I'm not uh, what I ought to be. Yeah. 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 Thank God, I'm not what I used to be. Yeah.